Hey everyone, this is Daniel with FitnessBlender.com and today we've got a really short but very intense upper body strength training routine. And we're going to be going through uh, about 10 different exercises and we're doing each one of them for about 45 seconds each. All you need for this is a set of dumbbells. You don't necessarily need a bench for this. If you have one, by all means use it. If you don't have one, you can just do this laying on the floor. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so make sure you get in a warm up before you start into this if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, we're going to be doing each one of these exercises for just 45 seconds. So we're not doing two rounds of it, just one per. So let me go ahead and get my timer started. We're going to be starting off with a uh, bent over row, uh, close and wide row. So select whichever weight you want to use. I'm going to be using, just so you know, I'm going to be using about 30 pounds per hand. Keep a nice flat back, your tips straight over, arms are come up, out to the side, slowly down. Roll those palms facing in, and then tuck those elbows in really nice and close to your rib cage. And then right back out again. Elbows wide, elbows in, just nice and slow, rotating back and forth. Make sure you're not building any momentum. You want that speed going up and back down exactly the same. You're going to have a tendency to want to pull up really, really quickly and then let down slowly. But you want to try to have a really nice, slow pull the entire time. If you want to focus on breathing with this one, it's going to be exhale as you pull towards you, inhale as you drop that weight back down. All right, let it relax and drop those weights. We're moving on to our next exercise, which is going to be a chest press, uh, wide and narrow. So select your weight for that. Bumming up to 40 pounds per. Either lay down on the ground or lay down on that bench, whichever is more comfortable. And same kind of motion, you're going to keep those hands in, facing towards each other, elbows close to that rib cage, press it back up, then rotate those hands down, elbows come out wide. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Keep that core nice and tight, even though it's not necessarily having to do any work. You always want to try to make sure everything's nice and stable. Don't let that lower back come up off of that bench or that ground if you're laying down. Nice, slow, controlled motions. Keep those lungs open. And go ahead and set those weights back up again. We're moving to our next. We're going to be doing a pullover, so I'm dropping my weight down quite a bit. Flat on your back again. Palms straight up. You're going to drop those hands straight over top of your head as far as is comfortable then nice and slow right back over top of that shoulder rotate that palm again slowly down right back over top of that chest just keep rotating each time keep those arms nice and straight keep that lower back flat against that mat especially with this one that lower back's going to want to lift up make sure you're keeping that rib cage completely flat against that ground or that bench Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. And let it relax. All right, next one's gonna be an overhead press. Use a little bit more weight here. So with this one, again, close and wide. Gonna bring those dumbbells up to your shoulders. Nice and slow, press straight over top of your head. Nice and slow down. Then you bring those elbows in, palms facing forward or towards each other, straight up and back down. Try to keep those elbows within that shoulder range or that width when you're doing that close one. So you want those elbows staying within your shoulder width. Press it up, slowly back down. Bring them back out nice and wide. Press it straight up again. Make sure you're having a neutral spine. Don't tilt your chest back. Again, keep that core nice and tight. Ooh, man, I'm feeling my muscles start to get out of me a little bit here. Starting to get tired. And slowly let it relax. All right, drop those dumbbells. We're going to be moving on to a overhead tricep extension. So I'm going to drop really nice and light for this one because we're going to be doing two different motions again. Start with one hand directly above that shoulder, palm facing forward. Drop it straight back behind your head as far as is comfortable. 
press it straight back up. Make sure the elbow stays directly above that shoulder. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Again, neutral spine. Keep those core muscles contracted. Don't let your chest push forward too much and lean your chest back. You want to keep everything pretty much straight up and down. So next, you're going to switch that hand so the palm is facing down. This is a much more difficult position. Nice and slow. Press it right back up. If you want to, slowly switch back and forth between the two. So press it up, palm forward, slowly down with that palm staying forward. Press it up, palm sideways, bring it back down behind your head. Whew. All right, we're going to be doing the same exact thing on the opposite side. Arm shake out, it's getting tired. All right, so same exact thing. Go ahead and bring that hand directly above your shoulder. Palm facing forward to start. Nice and slow, hand right back behind that shoulder, behind that head, as far as is comfortable. Then right back up again. If you want to switch that position, palm facing sideways, down towards that shoulder, right back up again. Then rotate that palm again. Just hits a slightly different part of that tricep muscle with that different rotation on that wrist. So nice and slow, just alternate back and forth. Again, focus on that core while you're doing this. Make sure those abdominal muscles are contracted nice and tight. Keep that core, or keeping that spine nice and straight, that spine nice and neutral. That is a good burn. All right, we're almost done. And let that relax. Next one we're gonna be doing is a bicep curl. So this one is going to be an overhand, so it's much, much weaker position, so keep that in mind when you're selecting your weight. So I'm just going to be using 15 pounds per hand. You're going to nice and slow, bring your hand up in a traditional curl, so up to that top, squeeze the top, rotate your palm as far over as you can, and then nice and slow, let it drop down from there. Rotate back, slowly up. Rotate those hands over and slowly down. Again, with any traditional uh, dumbbell curl, you want to make sure that elbow stays directly underneath your shoulder. Don't let it curl forward. Otherwise, that shoulder is going to start trying to help rather than just that bicep by itself. Keep those lungs open, neutral spine, core nice and contracted. There's a lot of stuff you got to think about with even the most simple exercise. And go ahead and let that relax. All right. Next one is going to be a reverse fly. So actually I'm going to keep it right where I, oh no, I'm going to drop that. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little tired. I'm going to drop it a little, make it a little easier for myself. So we're doing a reverse fly, back perfectly flat. You're going to tip straight over, parallel to the ground. Those arms are going to come straight up out to the sides, slowly back down, right back up again. No rotation on that hand. If you want to, you can. You can rotate those palms facing back towards you and do your fly from there. But again, it's going to be a lot different position typically a lot weaker, so you might need to drop your weight for it. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Try to get as much range out of it as you can. If you feel like you're limiting that range too much, then drop that weight and go with something a little bit easier. The full range of motion is vastly more important than the amount of weight you lift. And let it relax. All right, I've got a chest fly neck, so I'm gonna bump up the weight just a little bit. All right, 20 pounds per hand is what I'm using. Lay flat on your back. We're down on the ground, whichever's more comfortable, whichever one you have. Palms facing in. Straight out to the sides, as far as is comfortable. Then nice and slow, directly above that chest again. Again, if you want to make it feel a little different, rotate that hand out to the side. Right back over top of that chest again. Just keep alternating back and forth. Keep that motion under control. Never use momentum. Nice, slow, controlled motions the entire time. Don't hold your breath. Keep those lungs open. Make sure that core is nice and tight the entire time. And let that relax. All right, if my count is right, this is our last one. We have a lateral raise next, and I'm going really light on this one. So, standing nice and straight and tall. Palms facing in towards those legs. Nice and slow, bring those arms up and out to the side as high as is comfortable. 
Keep that spine nice and straight, nice and neutral. Core muscles contracted. Even though you're focusing on those shoulders for this exercise, you still want to keep everything else contracted and under control. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Rotate that palm forward if you want to get a little bit different part of that shoulder. You should feel a vast difference in the range of motion you're capable of, depending on how you have your hand rolled. Nice, slow, controlled motion. Almost done. Just a few more seconds left. And let it relax. All right, that was our last exercise. So either move on to your next routine or get your cool down done. Either way, this workout is complete. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.